Ah, yeah, this is Dawn, Dawn Kryptonium, your number one cosmos ecosystem voice that you deserve to hear. Today, we are going to discuss the tokenomics of Atom 2.0, or how others like to call it, Atom 2.0. (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, let's start because there's some uh, new stuff. But before we start, you know, do yourself a favor. Like button, okay? Smash the like button. Leave the comment. What do you think about this new tokenomics of Atom 2.0? And also delegate to Don Don Kryptonium to support his hard work. So, uh, we start with this uh, Johnny tweet. Uh, you know, I'm not looking into white paper, but there is some concern. So what the Atom 2.0 or Cosmos 2.0 uh, propose is to change the tokenomics. As of now, the tokenomics are 7 to 20% increased yearly supply that we like to call inflation uh, for some reason. And they want to change it to reduce the inflation uh, bring more value to the token itself and also encourage the development within the Cosmos ecosystem or rather Cosmos Hub, strictly Cosmos Hub to bring the value to the token. So what was proposed to change the tokenomics, okay? As of now, we issue for the next 12 months around 40 million atoms that will go or would go to stakers. And their new plan is to issue additional 80 million atoms, from which majority, around 56 millions, would go to the treasury that community manages, and only around 23 million would go to the stakers. And it would significantly drop in the year number two, and after three years, we get it at the issuance of new tokens below 1%. But what Johnny is saying here, why is it not going to stakers? Why it needs to go more and more to the treasure? What is the value of our stakers? So here, I'm going to explain to you, okay? And I will tell you that this is exactly what the army of the people who wanted the value to the atom asked for. And this is what best you could actually get if you want the value to the token or coin itself. because. If you wouldn't do it, if you don't make sure that there is the tokens going to the treasury and if there is no funds to fund the development of the Cosmos Hub, your token will go to maybe zero in the future, okay? You will create the ghost chain because you have no incentives for the builders to develop on the chain. This is why I believe the fixed supply is completely failed here. And also deflationary or decreasing supply is also complete failure. And the networks that have this tokenomics in the years ahead will have to adapt and will have to find a way to issue new tokens if they want to make sure that development is keep on going. So I think there will be networks that do this. But let's try to understand it and let's let's answer the questions also if this will dilute the atom and if it will b- bring the value down. So first of all, we have few different uh, token tokenomics, okay? First of all, we have the cryptos that are commodity-like but without utility and that would be Bitcoin, okay? The premise is this is like the gold, scarce supply, nothing really behind that, but you know, it's it's so scarce and as it gets adapted, it's good. Um, but it doesn't have this velocity of money because the best incentives is just to hold it on the premise that the price go up because there is scarce supply, okay? So this is number one. Then you have the tokens that would be security-like. So they don't really differ from the shares of the company. And here is an example of the XRP. They have the technology. Uh, I believe they are mainly focused on the payments. And they issue the tokens to the investors. So investors put the money in. They get the shares in the form of tokens. This is like security. You have also some others that uh, try to merge the words of maybe like money um, and utility token 
with the being the security, which would be like all of these uh, tokens that give the shares to community, but also part to the investors, and they have certain level of inflations to incentivize security, right? So this kind of works uh, in between. Uh, and also those with no uh, cap on this, they seem to be pretending the money. So, for example, I, I was viewing the Atom till this point as sort of money. It has this inflation between 7 to 20 percent. So we make sure that it's increasing as adoption is increasing. Uh, we make sure there is uh, big liquidity so the money can travel very fast. And that's how I viewed the Atom as this base layer for exchange. And it seems this new plan uh, this new tokenomics is about to remove it. So we are not going to have Atom as the medium of, ex of exchange. And tell me whatever you want, but with this new tokenomics, Atom is not the medium of exchange, but maybe it's okay. Uh, because uh, I, I, I will, I will try to, I will try to tell you. So, um, you see, many, many people are getting crazy uh, about this. Many people are like, "Hey, it's so bad! It's, it's stealing money from us because we stakers want more." Not really. Like as I said, this is probably the best way for you to make sure the atom pumps because you will be holding of the shares of the company that has the assets. And small issuance below 1% and decreasing for investment. So on price now, that would be like additional 30 million a year, maybe more for funding ongoing investments and making sure that the Cosmos hub is being improved. Um, also, I want to mention about the shaming people. You know, there was new white paper and I saw some accounts saying like, hey, this new white paper is next level IQ. That's why many people don't understand this because they are not clever enough. I say something to you. Go fuck yourself, okay? If you if you use this argument, maybe the white paper is not good. Um, but here is the comment. So um, I said, uh, and this let's focus now strictly on the on the atom, okay, and and why it's okay. I have not much to say to be honest. I was not against atom tokenomics in the first place, as I I stated my case. It's kind of what people were asking for. Make price go up. And that's probably how to do it if you want to continue development. So this new tokenomics is exactly this. So it's we will make price go up, but we also get the development funded. It's pretty much turning Atom into security. At least it looks like it. I see that security, like tell me whatever you want. So Zaki said, very popular, Zaki, like these people always get a lot of likes. It's turning Atom into what it's meant to be, a post-nation state, post-corporation coordination mechanism where value accrual is tied value flow and not to memes. So I'm responding, I'm not against that 1% going to the treasury. And this is very important, you know? Um, so this will be not a corporation, okay? The atom holders are deciding here. So it's not nation state and it's not a corporation state, but it's the coordination mechanism that you holding the atom are choosing to fund the projects and expand the hub. And in this means, this is probably better than all of those Solana chains, etc., because we make sure that we are able to continue funding development on the hub and also turning the atom into the security like that can approach in value along the years, similar way as securities approach if the company is successful Look example, Meta, look example, uh, Amazon, look example, Alphabet, okay? Um, so, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And, and people are, are concerned, you can know about, about the illusion. Like, come on, guys, this is nothing new. Um, the, the companies often like print more than 10% of new shares overnight if they want to acquire other company. So this is like we we print in new atoms in order to acquire other companies to build the ecosystem. And I don't think it will dump the price. Many people think it dumps the price. You know, Kava doing something crazy with like 
a hundred percent inflation and then eighty percent tax on it. It didn't seem to have great effect. I also think this is stupid thing what they doing. This is on much less scale. This is on like much better planned scale. So make up your mind. You want you want atom to be medium of exchange or you want atom um to be rather the you know appreciating asset. And why atom doesn't have to be money anymore. And this is about USDC coming to the ecosystem. And I think this is why Zaki and maybe Ethan are pushing for this new tokenomic model because it seems that world is seeing what is happening with the stable coins. And I think world is seeing that it's not going to be crypto coins, but it will be stable coins that will be this... Um, monetary base so we will be using stable coins as the trading whether it's usdc or it's ist token but they seem to be this so we will have the stable coin where we will transact while tokens function more as the companies and you can transact actually with anything you want because there will be a lot of tokens within Cosmos ecosystem. And people ask, okay, so what is for the stakers? And their proposition is the stakers will receive the tokens of the chains that will choose to be secured um, by the hub. So maybe you will be getting some USDC, and other tokens. You will be getting some neutron tokens, etc., for securing the chain while the hub invests in its tokens in the development and incentivizing developments in the form of grants or maybe selling this to the investor via community proposal. My take is I hope it will not end up in two years of discussion where it goes nowhere, okay? Because the, the death to Atom would be the fact that we discuss. And I just want you to Google Liberum Veto. Too much governance, whatever it's Cosmos or any other chain, will kill your chain. If you want this, if you want value, just go push for it. If you don't, just stay, stick to the tokenomics and push for ICS and continue development. But don't waste time on the governance and trying to say, hey, my right is truer or my truth is truer than your truth okay that doesn't work with that done kryptonium sound because i rumble for too long already bye bye